G'day guys, just following on from my FM transmitter review. This is the EDM-Stereo-CS FM transmitter, which we may be looking at using for our Christmas light display this year to transmit the audio uh, signal out on the FM radio band so people can tune in on their cars and listen to the music to our sequence lights. Now, the EDM uh, transmitter comes a little bit different to the earlier one I was talking about, to the CZE-7C. Uh, it's not a direct plug and play, so to speak. You do have to do a couple of little um, jobs to it when you do receive it. Uh, it comes with some really good instructions on what you have to do, which is mainly fitting the power supply plug. You just, just, uh, just need to pull the four screws off the outer case, the four screws which releases the board from that case and there's just quite a simple manner of soldering the power um, jack into there um, so just be aware of that but there's some really good instructions about how to do that when you receive it uh, also what you do receive like I mentioned earlier you get like a, a test aerial but I optioned it with the uh, rubber type aerial which comes with an adapter because the yellow plug there is your FM aerial connection. Um, one thing I did notice, it's right up here so you can hopefully see, we've been plugged in, the aerial can, it doesn't sort of lock, which doesn't seem to be an issue, it will sort of hold there, just be aware if you are trying to position it in a certain way, and also this aerial doesn't sort of bend back that way, it's fixed at the right angles, so just be aware of that, depends on how you want to mount your FM transmitter. And it also says quite clearly, uh, it actually states in the instructions that it should not be powered up for long periods of time without the um, antenna. One another thing that's slightly different on this transmitter compared to the other types, uh, this had requires the inputs for, from your audio via RCA, unlike the others which have a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio plug, similar to like a headphone type plug. So I didn't order a RCA type plug and I went looking around the only types I could find uh, was a couple of which I found in the back of a, a TV box which I had. So just be aware of that if you are going to use the EDM, the EDM type you might want to look at getting some nice quality uh, RCA to a 3.5mm plug depends where you're going to run it from. Um, like the earlier ones I'm going to be running this just for my laptop at the moment. Uh, just in the garage just to give a bit of an idea and like I said earlier the power supply which they supplied with it uh, had the non-Australian type plug on it so I'm just using a generic 4 volt uh, power supply so we'll plug this one in power him up and we'll give him a quick run in the garage here so you can see how it works so set the power onto him uh, and she boots up nicely. It might be a little bit difficult to see. Hopefully I can get the angle right here. It displays your stored frequency channel you're chosen and you've got two little switches in behind the metal case which you need to go in there with a, something nice and um, to go up and right, up and down with your um, radio channel you wish to uh, put your frequency out on. Now I believe this is factory set also for 10 milliwatts. So we're just going to test it in that um, scenario. I do believe you can increase it with the settings to, I think, 200. It does say in the instructions on how to do that. And also, it does give you some abilities to do some fine tuning in respect to, I believe, if you're getting some distortion. I've just left this in the factory settings. Like, this is how I got it. So this is how I'm going to sort of test it and see what it's like. So we're just going to plug our audio input in. By our RCAs. Um, we've got our sequence going to run. That's running there. So we'll just turn our radio on. Turn him up. So, one of the first things I noticed is that it is quite louder. Uh, compared to the other types, in particular to the 
little FM modular one I was talking about. Another thing I did notice, I don't appear to be getting any funny frequency issues with my laptop, wherever it's sort of positioned, but we'll run him outside later and see where he goes. Um, the sound quality sounds quite impressive. And as I said, I'm only transmitting over about one meter range to my FM radio in the garage, so we'll see how it goes a little bit later on when I put him out to test it. So, there we have. Um, I'll go on to the next part of the video, we'll set him up for our display and we'll try and transmit into our car radios. So this is just the outside, I suppose, FM frequency test of the EDM. Uh, I've got it connected up almost exactly the same as the others, just as I said it's a little bit different with the RCA type connections. Um, again, I'm just using the little USB adapter to my Raspberry Pi, running the same uh, sequence as the others. Uh, one thing I just I haven't noticed if there's any volume settings for the EDM. I haven't had a receiver but look at the manual, but uh, nothing seems to be obvious on there where you can turn it. It does have, I believe, some adjustment screws if you're getting any bad frequency feedback or anything, distortion, etc. So we'll, we'll go out to the car and see what he's This is just the in car test, I suppose, of the EDM. Uh, FM transmitter. Uh, it's exactly the same distance as the others. I'm about 30 meters away from where the transmitter is located. It's a bit of a windy day. I don't know if it's the same as, same as the others. So again, I've got the Raspberry Pi set to level uh, 75 out of 100. Uh, my radio is set to about level 5, which is the same, just so you can have a comparison. We'll um, turn him on and have a look. Have a listen. Sorry. Got the, the radio to, to level five, which is the same as the others, as you might be able to pick. It is a little bit louder, so we're just going to turn it down. So I believe the EDM is a bit louder than the CZE and a lot louder than the uh, little module. Um, it sounds nice and clear, no crackling, no distortion. Sounds quite well. I would say it is the clearest out of the th out of the three. Um, there's not a lot of difference between this and that CZE. The volume a little bit more, so but it seems quite well. We're just going to put him up to level five again, and I'll do that comparison between the local FM radio station. Now it's a different song compared to the earlier ones, but. I think it's actually um, a little bit louder than the local FM station. So if I was going to use the EDM, I'd be turning it down a bit on the uh, on the Raspberry Pi. Just back to my 99. I'll turn this down. Uh, I've done a bit of a distance travel test, and I easily got. 700 meters up the road, which is a lot more than what, probably what we need for our uh, Christmas lights displays, and it was still nice and clear, and didn't um, drop out or anything like that. Okay, I'll um, do another video just giving my final summaries of them all. Thank you.